Albright Sports Network as we are live here from the George C. Bowman Center on the campus of Albright College in Reading, Pennsylvania for our NCAA Division III a basketball a non-conference doubleheader this afternoon. First to the women's tilt, then followed by the men's contest. The women welcome Immaculata College to town this afternoon as the Albright Lions look to extend their perfect start to the 2019-20 season, coming in 6-0 overall. And the Mighty Max of Immaculata coming in this afternoon are 4-2 overall. Both teams coming in with win streaks this afternoon. Immaculata obviously has won all six of their contests so far this year. Immaculata on a four-game win streak as they have started the year 0-2 and, and then now have rallied off four straight starts. Now let's meet the starting lineups for both squads. First, for the visiting Mighty Max, uh, number four, a 5'5 five five guard from Philadelphia, Shannon Kelly. Number five, a 5'6 freshman guard from Wilmington, Delaware, Jordan Rook. Number 14, a 5'6 Gilbert guard, senior guard from Gilbertsville, Pennsylvania. Anna Kahutka. And number 24, a 5'11 a junior forward from Northampton, Pennsylvania, Brielle Arrigo, their leading rebounder. And rounding out the starting five is going to be their leading scorer, a 5'9 junior guard slash forward from Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, Teresa Kearney. The Mighty Max are head coached by Chrissy Ryan in her fifth season at the helm. Tested coach is R, Sarah Smith and Dave Parker. And for the Albright Lions, it is going to be number 12, a six foot tall, a fresh, excuse me, sophomore forward from Northfield, New Jersey, Gabby Boggs. Number 20, a sophomore guard standing five foot seven from Bowie, Maryland, uh, Mina Rauf, number 21, a uh, senior guard, five foot six from Reistertown, Maryland, Haley Dayton. Number 31, a five foot ten forward in her sophomore season from North Wales, Pennsylvania, Brady Wassel, and rounding out the starting five. Number 32, a six foot one sophomore forward from Re Reading, Pennsylvania, Deja Terrell, and head coach by Janice Luck in her 18th season, leading the Lions, assisted coach by Maya Wynn and Sean. Barzinski. So those are the starting lineups for this evening, excuse me, this afternoon's contest, a little pre-Thanksgiving uh, treat for the folks here in Berks County. It's faculty and staff appreciation day here at the Bowman Center as the students and staff come in getting some free t-shirts and free pizza as well as they come on to cheer on the Lions uh, basketball teams in a non-conference doubleheader before they start to get into MAC Commonwealth play later on as the season goes along and Mac play overall. The Lions coming off a record breaking 110 to 43 win at the City College of New York a couple days ago. And they're looking to move to 7-0 this season and we're underway here at the Bowman Center. Albright gets the opening tip as we get this afternoon's contest beginning. Like I said, both teams coming in with win streaks. Immaculata with four straight triumphs. Albright yet to lose here in the 2019-20 campaign. The Lions led by Terrell. She's their leading scorer on the team. This one down low, up, good move, and doesn't go off the glass. Rebound, second chance is true for Terrell. Cleaning things up there, and she gets the first basket of the afternoon. The Berks Catholic grad just named to the D3Hoops.com team of the week for her efforts last week for the team, and that was a 10-second violation. Great defense there by the Lions as well. And uh, a turnover for Immaculata on their first possession. So Albright takes it out from their own sideline, looking to go for nothing. Terrell, leading scorer with 20 per contest, already has two today. Also leads the team in free throws, blocks as Terrell gets another two. And this full court pressure will be implemented by the Lions most of the game. They only give up about 55 points per contest. They're averaging nearly 88 points per game. So this is a team that has had some high scoring affairs. Their closest contest was only a nine point win. All the rest of their wins have been by double digits this year. And that nine point victory was in their season opener. So it's only gotten better from there. This one, a baseline jumper. That one's true for the Mighty Max to get things started. Kearney, their leading scorer as they get that jumper for Kearney for the Archbishop Carroll graduate. Cuts that deficit in half, 4-2 here 
in the opening quarter, about a 90 seconds into this afternoon's contest. Here, a corner three for Albright, no good. Rebound will go out of play. No one could corral it as Boggs tried to chase that one down for the Lions. Albright, as a team, shoots about 35% from beyond the arc. That one, uh, they break the, the press with ease, and the second chance goes for two for Kearney again. So Terrell has both the baskets for the Lions, and Kearney both for the Mighty Max, both teams leading scorers, leading the way thus far for the uh, respective teams. That one short and no good. And now Immaculata looking to press forward and take their first lead of the afternoon. They may want to settle this one down in the half court, though. And they drive baseline. Good move up and off the glass for two for Annie. Kohutka gets the first advantage for the afternoon for Immaculata. 6-4, the Mighty Max now out front here with 7.25 to go. Terrell calling for it on the low block. Rigo on defense in this assignment. Terrell backing down that one. Tough angle, no good. And Immaculata looking to now double up the Albright Lions here in the early going. That one up and off the glass. Tough angle, get their own rebound and our first foul of the afternoon here tonight. Today's officials, Melinda Moore, Lakeisha Pitts, and Michael Aranzulo. Michael was the one to make that call on Haley Dayton, her first team's first here in the opening quarter. Rigo will go to the line to shoot two. The leading rebounder on the team from Northampton, Pennsylvania, played in the East Penn Conference as a concrete kid in her high school campaign, now in her junior season of her collegiate career. And gets one of two, so a three-point advantage here for the Mighty Max as they retreat back on defense. And now Terrell baseline again, good give, flash on the near side, stop shot, that one short, rebound by Shannon Kelly, the Archbishop Wood graduate, and Immaculata trying to push forward again, that one, foul called there, Immaculata, great job by Kohutka to draw the foul on Terrell, who was on the fence on the near side. Terrell, her first, team second, our first substitution of the afternoon as well. We'll see Caitlin Racabaldo coming into the contest, the sophomore forward from Lincoln Hill, New Jersey. Shannon Rook, excuse me, Jordan Rook went to the bench in that exchange on the substitution. Missing the first one, now here's the second free throw on this trip to the line with 6.42 to go. And that one is good, so now Immaculata has an eight to four lead. And a whistle and a traveling call, so it was a four nothing lead there for Albright for a bit. Now they've gone scoreless here in an eight nothing run for Immaculata over the last two minutes and 40 seconds. The Lions came out with back-to-back -back baskets by Terrell and since then have been silenced by the visiting Mighty Max who now look to get a six point advantage with this trip down the court as we get closer to the midway point of the opening period. And it looks like Coach Luck's gonna dip into her bench for the first time this afternoon as well. Two new Lions being sent to check it out the scores table. This one a layup on the right hand, no good rebound. Albright and they look to push forward. Trying to break a three minute scoreless drought for Albright, step back, three, that one's good. They'll say toe on the line, two for Haley Dayton and that snaps the dry spell for the Lions, and now here's an interception on that half, or on that full court press, and that one's good, and just like that, back-to-back -back baskets, Rauf gets that one to go for Albright, and what was an eight-nothing run for them, now another turnover and steal, and here a layup with the left hand, that one's no good, second chance also no good, third time, maybe the charm, Albright gets it, passes it out to Terrell, she'll go up and in for two, and it was eight four a moment ago, and in a matter of about 45 seconds, it's now 10-8, Albright back up top, and that one out of bounds, and it'll stay with Immaculata here. Substitutions for the Lions coming in here. And a 30-second timeout called by Immaculata as well 
after they just saw what was an 8-4 lead evaporate on a 6-0 run in just 75 seconds for the Lions. Now they find themselves back up by 2, 10-8 here, which prompted that immaculata timeout, the first called of the contest, and quite the sequence there for the Lions with back-to-back -back turnovers forced and then capitalizing with baskets on the other end. Didn't even let the Mighty Max get to midcourt before they were able to steal it away. And now Albright back in a more comfortable position here, up by two after a 4 nothing early lead quickly evaporated. And now it's 10-8 once again here. 5.30 to go here in the opening quarter. Some new Lions checking into the contest as well. Maggie O'Hare comes in. O'Hare, a sophomore guard from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Kahutka comes out and Rook is back in for the Mighty Max as well. As they're driving, shot clock at five, ball loose and out of play. And it'll go off of Albright, but only just three seconds left on that shot clock. And Dayton is out as well as Raouf for Albright. Abby Gaffney now into the contest, the sophomore from Reading. Graduate nearby Birch Catholic. This one has to beat the buzzer, and it doesn't go. And rebound Albright as they look to build onto their lead here. Terrell trying to go coast to coast, and he'll call an offensive foul on Terrell, and it'll be a turnover there. And that's going to be the second one on her here in the opening quarter as she'll head to the bench with two personals and Kayana Chisholm comes into the contest in place of her after Terrell gets called for her second personal on the charge there. And a substitution for the Mighty Max as well. Kearney out and Megan Ricker comes into the contest. Ricker, a sophomore from Holmes, Pennsylvania. Under the midway point here in the opening quarter, 10-8 Albright out front. Non-conference women's basketball contest here in the Albright Sports Network. I'm Tyler Trumbauer. Thank you for tuning in for our Tuesday afternoon tilt. That one, no good. Rebound, Albright. This game has been a different streaks here in the early going. Three, that one, no good. Trailing rebound, nearly hauled in by Albright, but Immaculata will chase it down as Jordan Rook was the one to haul it in. It was Albright with a 4-0 lead after a run, then an 8-0 run by the Mighty Max, and then a quick 6-0 run for Albright that they're on the midst of right now, and that layup no good. Immaculata hasn't scored in nearly three minutes of game play here, under four to go now in the opening quarter. Now into the paint, trying to drive and break the stretch of scoreless and that it will do as that two is good for Rigo and that ties up the contest at 10. Now drive Chisholm gets blocked and that one will go out of play but it'll stay here at the Lions two substitutions here for the mighty Max. Morgan Falcone Coming, for, coming into the game for the first time. Trista Kearney checking back in again here in the latter stages of the opening quarter. Chisholm nearly loses it. Shot up, no good. Rebound brought in by Boggs and a whistle. We got a foul on the floor, 317 to go. Actually, it looks like no foul was the call, but it's going to be Albright possession to throw in here on that near sideline. And Albright will get it at the top of the key. Abby Gaffney running point here for the Lions. Haven't seen them much in a half court set. They've been running and gunning so far. That one no good as they've been working in the fast court, or excuse me, half fast break instead of the half court. And now here's Immaculata trying to settle in on the half court as well. We've seen a little bit more of this from them in the early going. Albright going man to man, which they've done for most of this opening quarter. That one's stuffed, no good. Now going the other way. Gaffney down the near sideline, stop, nearly lost it. Whistle and a foul. 2.42 to go, tied at 10 here. Foul on the floor, 
first substitution for Albright, who fouls on Ricker. Chisholm will head to the bench, coming in for her for Albright. Is Rauf coming back into the ball game? Wassel had it at the top, now gets it back to Gaffney for Albright. They look to drive, kick, Gaffney corner, now giving it back to O'Hare. She nearly loses it, trying to spin around to the far block. And it looks like there she was fouled in that move, so we'll have a whistle. On Immaculata, another substitution as well. Allison Falcones called for the foul. And a substitution. Rook will go to the bench. Kahutka will come back into the contest here for the Mighty Max. Stop, shot, that one, kiss off the glass, no good. Off the fingertips of Albright's Wassel. And now Maculata here with 2.15 to go, trying to break this tie at 10 that we've had. Albright hasn't scored in over three minutes after going on there. A little bit of a scoring run. So that's what it's been, run and then drought. Run and drought for both teams here in this opening quarter. Shot clock under 10, whistle on the floor. And it's gonna be a turnover on Immaculata. Substitution here for the Mighty Max as well as they retreat back on defense. Brielle Rigo coming back into the contest. And we'll send Rocabaldo to the bench. Now the Mighty Max a little bit of a full court press, which we saw the early on from the Lions as well, which was causing a lot of fits for Immaculata in that early going. Now this one, a three from way downtown. That one, no good, long rebound. Albright, second chance, and that one's nothing but nets. Brady Wassel for two to break that scoreless stretch for the Lions. They're up by two, 12-10. That one doesn't stand for long, no. Kiss off the glass for two for Teresa Kearney, and we're tied right back up at 12. Under 90 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Kahoof, maybe an ill-advised pass. Albright, no harm, no foul, though they corral it. And now they have it back up top. Trying to set up maybe a play here. Shot clock at 10, whistle, and we have a three second violation on the Lions. So a turnover there on Albright here in a later part of this quarter. Five turnovers for Immaculata and four now for Albright here in the opening period. That one blocked from behind. Kearney tried to put up a jumper. Now loose ball on the baseline. Kearney has it back, she nearly lost it. And then another three second call on the other end on Immaculata. So back to back three second violations. Sends a another turnover and Albright back on offense as we're just under a minute to go. That one was on Wassel. And a couple of more substitutions here for Immaculata and Albright as well with under a minute to go, tied at 12. Albright breaks the full court press with ease. Back to the near side. Now get it to Rell on the low block. She was working with ease in the early going. Now she's been silent since. The Remember, she picked up those two personal fouls as well. Substitution here quickly. Both benches being active here into the contest. Boggs comes back into the game. Falcone was out, Ricker was out for the Mighty Max. Shannon Kelly, Aaron Kelly into the game. 40 seconds to go. Now this one stop, mid-range jumper. That one is good for the Mighty Max now. Shot clock turn off, as that one is true. Terrell out, Boggs in for Albright. Shot clock off, as I said. Lions can hold for the final shot of the quarter now. And this one for three, that one no good. A rebound, Immaculata, they can push it quickly here. 10 seconds to go, up by two. Mighty Max trying to get their final shot. Can they go up by four here at the end of the first quarter? And no, we'll have an offensive foul called. An illegal screen called against the Mighty Max. That one's gonna be on Brielle Rigo. And that's gonna be her first personal of the game. That'll stop the opportunity for the Mighty Max to go up by two here at the end of the first quarter. Just three seconds exactly. Albright will have to work quickly here if they wanna tie this game up. They get it to Raouf and the shot's off in time, but it doesn't go. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Immaculata 14, Albright 12. We'll step aside for a quick break. We'll be back for the second quarter here on the Albright Sports Network.
back here at the Bowman Center here on the campus of Albright College. First quarter in the books here of our non-conference women's basketball contest between Albright and Immaculata. A back and forth affair here in the opening quarter. It was a game of scoring runs and then scoring droughts for both teams. Albright jumps out to that 4 nothing lead, then an 8 nothing run by the Mighty Max to take an 8-4 lead, and then a 6 nothing run by the Lions to make it 10-8. And then at the end of the first quarter, the Mighty Max up 14 to 12. Albright scoreless in that final minute 39 of that opening quarter. Terrell with six points, four. She had all four of those first points for the Lions and then just two points since she, since she does have two personal fouls as well. As the second quarter is now underway, that one out of play. And it'll say it was tipped by Albright and out of play. So it'll stay here with Immaculata on their opening possession of the second quarter. Man to man again here for Albright. Shot clock now down to five. Good defense, double team at the top of the key. Now trying to steal it away, a whistle. And that's always tough for a defense. When you put on a great defensive effort, you bleed that shot clock down to two, and then with two seconds, you get called for a foul there for the Lions. Shot clock resets to 20 now here. So a little bit more room and time to work for the Mighty Max here. They get it back up top to Rook. Rook, and she gets a foul. She leaned into that one on the offensive side. And going the other way now as that's a turnover on Immaculata. Rook comes into the contest to start that second quarter. Aaron Kelly. They're actually not going to call it on her, that foul. It's going to be on Caitlin Roccobaldo, her first personal here in the contest. And a full court pressure continues here in the second quarter by the Mighty Max. And that one goes out of play. It'll all be off of Immaculata, so it'll stay here with Albright. to the top, far side wing, Albright looking to score for the first time in about two minutes of game play. Immaculata with a great defensive effort here in the early going. Now top of the key three, this will count, that one no good, great box out though by Immaculata, and that lets that ball go out of play as that three doesn't go. As a team, Albright 0 for 6 from beyond the arc. No one scored a three yet in this game. Immaculata 0 for 1 from downtown as well. And it's still 14-12 here in the early going of the second period. Now top of the key. Kearney trying to get something going as well for the Lions. That or excuse me for the Mighty Max. That one no good. Albright gets the rebound. Now they stop kick near side wing. Albright looking to find some answers for this Mighty Max defense that has really stiffened since the early going. And a travel call, good physical defense on the baseline there by Rook. Substitution for Albright. We'll see number 21, Haley Dayton, come back into the contest. She'll, she will send number 10, Abby Gaffney, to the bench. And that substitution and the stoppage allows the full court press to be continued here by Albright. And this is where you've seen a lot of pressure as well but both teams using this full court defense, which is why we're seeing a lot of whistles as well. A pretty physical and hard fought and hard played game here so far. Neither team has scored yet here in this second quarter. That foul on Maggie O'Hare, her first personal here in the contest. Mighty Max now on a fence. Missed a wide open Shannon Kelly baseline. She was calling for it, but a good give here. Doesn't matter. Hoop and the arm is good for the mighty Max on the near side. Good job there by Racabaldo. Just checked into the contest. Rolls to the right side. Gets the give. Finishes. Takes the hoop and it's good. And that foul on Maggie O'Hare. So just like that, she quicks up, picks up two quick personal fouls. Ragabaldo at the line to shoot the second one to give Immaculata potentially a five-point advantage. This is their largest lead of the afternoon thus far. 
for the visitors. 17-12, they're out front. Two minutes into the second quarter. This one, pass ahead, up and good. Great job there by Albright and Gabby Boggs to sniff out the weakness in that full court pressure break away for two. And it's now 17-14, Albright just down by a possession once again. Back up top, Mighty Max looking to extend that lead. It had an open look for three, maybe instead goes up, and it's a good call as Shannon Kelly gave up the open three, drove, and the Archbishop Wood grad lays it in for two. 19-14 now, Mighty Max up front. Good ball movement once again by the Lions here. They quickly break that full court pressure, and a miscommunication. Raouf thought she was going to swing it over to Dayton, but Dayton was actually right behind her, and not in the corner, and a turnover there by the Lions. And Coach Janice Luck wants to talk this one over. She'll take a quick 30-second timeout, and we'll take it with her. It'll be Immaculata Ball out of the timeout. 19-14, Mighty Max lead. We'll be back after this with more on the Albright Sports Network. here on the Albright Sports Network. 7.19 to go, Immaculata 19, Albright 14. Albright just one for four for their last four field goal attempts. But they're hanging with Immaculata. Good defensive effort by both teams here in the early going. Mighty Max break the full court pressure. Now the Lions retreat back in that half court set. Two high scoring teams. Albright averages just under 90. Immaculata right around 67. That one goes out of bounds, tried to save it, did Rook, couldn't do it, out of bounds, turnover. Albright only gives up about 55 points per game, and Immaculata does almost exactly the same in how much they allow on their defensive side as well. So, much what you expected here in a low scoring, more defensive effort. This one, kick three, could be the first tray of the day for Albright, rims in and out, no good. As that was a good look there by Wassel at the top of the key, now the Lions are 0 for seven from beyond the arc. Mighty Max at the top, nearing the midway point of the second quarter. Good give to the low block, up and in for two, Rigo. There, using her 5'11 stature to her advantage. Tallest player roughly on the court, especially with Terrell on the bench. That one, good hustle play and kept it alive. Did Dayton Albright now with more time and opportunity, and that one's in for Wassel for two. 21-16 is the score in favor of the visiting Mighty Max now. Ralph right there at half court. Uh, they get it past there. Mighty Max already had one 10 second violation called on him. Rigo open, that one no good. And up and the second chance no good. Rebound Albright after Rigo missed the jumper and tried to get a second chance attempt to go as well. Try to get it to the trailer here, Boggs. And we have a blocking foul as two Mighty Max go to the ground like bowling pins there as there was a collision in the lane. And a foul will be on Immaculata and it will be on Teresa Kearney, her first here in the afternoon's contest. And it will send Albright to the line shooting to Gabby Boggs to shoot it for the Lions. And the first one is true to make it a four point ball game here in favor of the Mighty Max. And the second also is good as well. So back to a one possession game for the Lions, they've trailed for most of this second quarter. They led by two, their last lead coming under two minutes to go in that opening quarter. Mighty Max get that one, nearly lost it, and they swing it back out. Three, no good off the fingertips of Rook, and it'll be Albright with the rebound, and they push ahead for three. This will tie the ball game, and it's their first tray, and it couldn't come up a better time. Haley Dayton 
Now one for eight is Albright from beyond the arc, and they tie this one up at 21. The hosts playing from behind for most of the second quarter. Now as we dip under the midway point of the second period, now not this contest up at 21. Shot clock down at five now. Mighty Max have to work quickly. Good defense by the Lions. Kick it. Got to get a shot off. They do. It'll count. It's short. Albright gets the rebound. Lions now going to work offensively, looking to get their first lead here of the second quarter. Pull it back out. Maybe setting up in the half court. Going baseline up and under, and that one's good for Gabby Boggs. She called for it, cut to the rim, went around and finished up and under for two. And now the hosts, Albright Lions, back up by two, 23-21. 4.08 to go here until the half. Rigo was in the lane, now pulls it back up top. Mighty Max playing from behind for the first time in a bit, but not for long. Rigo showing, doing a good job here in the early going. Coming into this contest, she's the team's leading rebounder, and now she's leading the team in scoring, and back-to-back -back trays for Albright. Dayton again from beyond the arc. Another three is good. And that's back-to-back -back. trays makes it 26-23, and that prompts a Mighty Max timeout. Immaculata calling a quick 30-second timeout as the Albright Lions were 0 for 7 from beyond the arc. And just like that, on back-to-back -back possessions, they found their touch from downtown and now take a 26-23 advantage. This is their largest lead, or excuse me, their second largest lead of the game since their 4 nothing advantage in that early going when Deja Terrell went back-to-back -back baskets. Remember, the Lions are doing most of this here, fighting back without Terrell. She's been on the bench, saddled with two early fouls here in this contest. Does have six points, but then she picked up that second foul there and has been on the bench since. Coach Luck saving her for later on in the contest if this tight ball game persists. May need her down the stretch. Albright doing well without her, though. Up three now, 3.39 to go. Mighty Max out of the timeout. Gets it to Rigo, kicks it back out. Lions in a bit of a zone defense now here in the latter stages of this opening half. Shot clock down to eight. Shot that one, no good. Rebound Albright. And this is the hot shooting Dayton right here. She's gone two for two from behind the arc on the last two trips down the floor. This one, they're going to try to go low block for now. Dayton swings back over there, calling for it. Trying to split two defenders was Wassel. Gets her own rebound. Second chance, no good either. Mighty Max with the rebound. Under three to go until the half. Immaculata can tie it with a tray. Except they're looking for their first three. 0 for three. Rigo says forget that, but misses everything. Out of bounds. Turnover. Albright will... Inbound the basketball. And a foul called as Albright was trying to break that full court press by the Mighty Max. That foul will be on Rigo. Substitution, and you know Coach... Ryan and company did not want to take Rigo out of this game. She's been the team's leading scorer. She's got seven, but now does have two personal fouls. She'll go to the bench likely for the remainder of this half. And they bring in Kearney, the team's leading scorer this season. Rigo coming in averaging, excuse me, Kearney coming in averaging just under 18 points per game. Got six so far, shot clock at five. Lions gotta work quickly. Dayton stops, shot this one, good. And Brielle, to me, Haley Dayton cannot be stopped here today. Just tremendous job, that one not from downtown, but she gets it to go. She's got a game high 10 right now with 2.05 to go. And this one for three, that one rims in and out, no good. Maculata gets the rebound, it'll count. Would have been a foul as well. The foul does call, and that's on Albright here as we just dipped under two minutes to go. The Lions up by five. That's gonna be on Rav, her second. A couple of substitutions here for the mighty Max. We'll see Kahootka come back in. 
at the line shooting two for Immaculata is Kearney. That one no good on her first free throw. Falcone is out. Ricker is out. Rook is in, as I said, in addition to Kahuka for the Mighty Max. Second one is good. So Kahuka and Rook back in. They're on that full court defense right now as the Lions break it. Now here's a three, that one no good by Albright's Ralph. And a rebound there by the mighty Max here with a minute 40 to go. This one, step back, jumper, no good, rebound. Was gonna be hauled in by Immaculata. A foul called on the floor while they were trying to chase for that loose ball. That's gonna be on Albright's Haley Dayton. That's her second personal, so. A lot of uh, Lions now here with two personals with a minute 34 to go in the opening half. Haley blew it into the contest here. Excuse me, Emma blew it coming into the contest here for the Lions, the sophomore from Upper Darby. And at the line shooting two. Kahutka shooting two for the Mighty Max. She makes her first. And now here's the second to make it a two-point contest, and she makes that one as well. So it's Albright, 28, Immaculata, 26, with 90 seconds to go until the half. They kick it back up top. Albright settling it down here. 80 seconds to go. Shot clock now under 14 for three. That one off the front of the rim, no good. Long rebound by Immaculata. Now they try to go fast break two on two. They're gonna keep it theirself. That one up and in and good for two. Teresa Kearney takes on the challenge, the bump, and lays it in for two. And we're tied at 28 with a minute to go until the break. Albright trying to go back up top. Five nothing scoring run now here in the last minute 12 for the mighty Max, but that one, they tried to stop it, did the Lions there, but a foul called. Kearney called for the foul, that's her second, so you can add her to the list of players that have two personal fouls so far. That one's good, 29-28 now, Albright back up top, 52 seconds exactly left here in the second quarter. Meeting of the officials at the top of the key. And that one rims in and out, no good. So it'll stay a one point ball game. And a little miscommunication. That one goes out of bounds off of Immaculata. So Albright gets a second chance here. As they'll get to inbound the basketball with a fresh 30 seconds on that shot clock. Maculata subs in Emily Halloran, the uh, junior from Langhorne, Pennsylvania, comes in, and they inbound the basketball and quickly a whistle. That foul is going to be on Racobaldo, her second. And both teams in the bonus, so shooting two. And that one is good for Albright. Boggs shooting for the Lions. Second one, no good. So Albright up two, 30-28, 50 seconds to go, ticking down. Here in our opening half of our non-conference women's basketball game, part of a non-conference basketball doubleheader here on the Albright Sports Network. The Albright men hosting Eastern coming up at approximately 5 p.m. This one up and under and good, good move and footwork by Jordan Rook. As Rook gets that to go for two to tie this one up. Shot clock turned off. Lions can hold for the final shot and see if they can take a lead going into the locker room. Get it to the low block. Kick out here for three. That one up and no good. Off the top of the backboard, out of bounds. It'll be inbound Immaculata substitution first. Kelly, Aaron Kelly that is, coming in for Caitlin Ragabaldo, so nine seconds exactly left here. Immaculata inbounded the basketball. 
they can take a lead here at the half now. Full court pressure put on, turnover, Albright pushing it ahead once again. They got time, two, one, stop, shot, and in. It's good, and the buzzer sounds, and Abby Gaffney gets that one to go for two, and Albright takes advantage of the Immaculata miscue on that fast break attempt, and the Lions take a 32 to 30 lead here over the Mighty Max of Immaculata at the half. As the Lions led by Haley Dayton, she's got 10, six of those coming from beyond the arc. Help the Lions take a two point advantage at the break. We'll step aside here for a little half time break. We'll come back with some first half analysis and of course the second half action between Albright and Immaculata. You're watching Albright Women's Basketball on the Albright Sports Network.
Welcome back to the Bowman Center here on the campus of Albright College as we are live here on the Albright Sports Network with our non-conference women's basketball contest at the half here. Albright leads by two, 32-30 over the visiting Immaculata Mighty Max. I'm Tyler Trumbauer We're bringing you all the action here on a Tuesday afternoon. We thank you all for tuning in. Of course, this is game one of our doubleheader here this afternoon and a pre-Thanksgiving treat for you in what is Staff and Student Appreciation Day here for the double headers, free t-shirts and pizza for those individuals in attendance. And uh, right now they're watching the Lions cling to a two point advantage at the break. Some first half stats and analysis here for you. Big thing, Deja Terrell, not a big factor for Albright and it's uh, showing in the score. Just five minutes for Terrell right now, only uh, six points for her. She had four in the first like two minutes. And then quiet since then, she's been saddled and sat on the bench for, with two personal fouls for most of that time. Haley Dayton has stepped up and is the leading scorer for Albright with a game high 10 points. She had two, six of those from beyond the arc, made the team's only two three-pointers here in this game. Teresa Kearney leading the way for Immaculata with nine points, Brielle Rigo with seven as well. A back and forth affair here overall the lead has changed hands four times, and it's been tied eight times here in the first 20 minutes of play. So a lot of uh, action back and forth here in the early going as we get ready for the second half of play here. Of course, the men's game coming up after this one, Albright versus Eastern in a non-conference game. This one's a good one, though, not only just for the score, but on paper as well. Both these teams coming in with winning streaks. Immaculata has won their last four contests after starting the season 0-2. And, and Albright is off to a 6-0 start to the 2019-20 season. As we're underway here in the third quarter, Albright basketball to start. M and that one is good and two. Terrell back into the contest and right into the thick of things. She gets the scoring started with two right there for the Lions, and they're up by four. their first basket of the second half. Drive and lost it there and turnover. Jordan Rook losing it there as she tried to dribble drive in the lane. And it'll go back to the Lions who have a four point advantage here. Their largest lead in the game has been five. Immaculata's largest lead was seven. It's been a fairly close game so far no matter who's out front, this one up and a foul as Gabby Boggs tried to go up for two. And the layup with the left hand and got fouled en route to the hoop. And the Boggs will at the line shooting two for the Lions who are up by four at the moment and makes the first one with 9-10 to go. So we saw a lot of fouls there in that first half. And expecting to see that again with the physical play defensively here in the full court pressure as Boggs goes two for two on that trip. And as we see again, the full court pressure being implemented anytime off a make or an inbound on the baseline, the Lions have been using that full court pressure. And it has caused fits for the Mighty Max nine, excuse me, 11 turnovers here in this game so far. All Maculata wing three that one misses everything and Albright with the rebound now with six points their largest lead of the game looking to extend that Terrell from downtown that one is good Deja Terrell lets her know it was for three and now a turnover again the 12th one here for Immaculata a traveling call on Rook she's got two turnovers here in the first 90 seconds of the second half already Albright now, could this be the opportunity where they start to pull away? They're up by nine. Largest advantage of the contest so far this afternoon. It's been a tight affair thus far. And as I mentioned in my open, Albright has been in blowouts so far. This team has done a great job on the offensive end scoring points, and their defense has limited teams so far. And now this one trying to get it to Boggs on that low block. She stopped, ran into some traffic, and it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lions, though. 21 seconds left on the shot clock. As I was saying, Albright 
their closest game was a nine point victory in their opener against our sinus since then they've all been double digit margins of win that one up no good Terrell gets the rebound for a second but then loses it good job by the mighty Max to steal that one away nearly two minutes into the third quarter now Immaculata still looking for their first basket of the third quarter and that one up foul as Rauf said hey I was straight up but there was some contact there and a foul called there and uh, first substitutions of the second half as well Rauf will go to the bench with her third personal she's sat for most of that first half as well with those two personals and now quickly picks up a third Maggie O'Hare will come into the contest for her as that first foul shot is missed by Kahutka at the line, who is shooting two for the visiting Mighty Max. The second is good. Rook is out for the Max. Roccobaldo is in on that Immaculata substitution first of the third quarter drive layup left hand is good for Boggs she's got a great finish with that left hand the long wings wingspan she's able to get around the defender and lay it in for two up by 10 now is Albright their first a double digit advantage of the afternoon skip past that one turnover stolen away by Terrell and then she quickly gets fouled as they try to go on the fast break opportunity here with 7.34 to go. That fouls on Kearney. And Immaculata will call a timeout, a full timeout, as they have yet to score here a field goal, just one point on the free throw. Here a couple minutes into the third quarter, we'll step aside as well. 7.34 to go in the third quarter, Albright up by 10. We'll be back after this with more on the Albright Sports Network. center 734 to go Albright 41 Immaculata 31 Lions on a 13-3 run in the last 335 and uh, it's definitely been the difference you have to think Deja Terrell being in this lineup sat for most of that first half with foul trouble now with still with those two personals but she's avoided picking up a third so far and uh, she's been a big difference maker in this game right now now she's tied with Gabby Boggs with a game high 11 points apiece. Out of the timeout by Immaculata, Albright basketball. Trying to build on their 10 point lead, their largest in the contest so far. Terrell after getting a steal on that last Mighty Mac possession. Now driving kick, baseline up and in. A Mighty Mac fell down and kind of cleared the path for Wassel who laid it in for two. Now a 12 point lead for the Lions. That one out of bounds, it'll be off of the lines. It'll stay here at the Mighty Max, 7.05 to go. I mentioned big margins of victory for the Lions. Just take a look at their last two games. That win over City College of New York, 110 to 43. And then before that, they beat Penn State Burks, 86 to 47. Back on November 21st, as we see a foul on the floor, whistle on Albright. It's going to be on Haley Dayton. Her third personal, she may be going to the bench. Uh, maybe Luck will keep her in, though. Coach Luck will just have a conversation with her as Immaculata heads to the line to shoot two free throws. Shannon Kelly makes the first, the Philadelphia native. Now looks to make the second, and this is the only spot Immaculata scored from so far here in the third, the free throw line. And a perfect trip there for her to cut the deficit back to 10 as we're getting closer to the midway point of the third quarter. Terrell looking for it on the low block, calling for it again, but she's double teamed right now. 
And double teamed on the near side. This one a three from way downtown. That one short, no good, over the top and out of play. And it'll be Immaculata basketball with 6.42 to go. Full court press still being implemented by the Lions. They kind of ease off it a bit. Now they go man to man in the half court. Maculata, stop, Rook shot that one, tipped away all basketball, still up for grabs, tipped away now a foul. And it looks like this one will be called on Albright as both teams were jostling for possession there. Foul will officially be called on Boggs, her first. She's played a clean game thus far and has 11 points to help lead the Lions offensively. Maculata inbound the basketball. Back up top, Rook has it. And they swing it over to the far side to Rigo. Remember, she went on a little bit of a run as well, gets her own rebound and lays it in for two. Rigo with two more in the first field goal of the third quarter for Immaculata. Give her nine points tied for a team high now. And like I was saying, she went on a little run in that second quarter, leading the Mighty Max when they took a lead there in that second period, but then she got saddled with foul trouble, and it was an issue for her that sent her to the bench for a bit. Albright leading by eight now. Back up top, this one downtown, no good. Rebound, one by Albright. Good to find an outlet pass as well. Oh, Hare now stop shot in transition, short rebound Boggs and gets fouled as she tried to clean that one up for the Lions. Boggs just having an impressive game thus far, getting the offensive board there. She's one more rebound away from a double-double already here in the third quarter, 11 markers for her, nine rebounds, one assist, one steal, and one block in 25 minutes of play already. And that'll send Boggs to the line to shoot two. After the foul, that was called on Rigo. Rigo will go to the line, as I said, picked up those two. Now here in the third quarter, quickly picks up a third, and she'll go right back to the bench. See how long she sits there. As I mentioned, she was able to get to the rim and make some baskets for the Mighty Max there in that second quarter. 5.18 to go, getting closer to the midway point here of our third quarter. Far side wing, now into the lane. Good ball movement here on this trip down the floor. Movement baseline up and under. Blocked from behind though by Boggs to kind of stop that one. That was great footwork by Racabaldo. Thought she was gonna have a clear path to lane, but from behind got stuffed. That one lays it in and good for two by Maggie O'Hare. As she's done a nice job coming off the bench this afternoon. That's her first basket but she's done a lot of stuff off the ball as well for the Lions and fighting for a loose ball and Terrell is upset with herself, knows that's not the opportunity, doesn't need to go for that one and she's gonna get called for her third personal there on the near sideline and she's gonna have to go to the bench and she's frustrated with a 10 point lead, no need for her to go for that loose ball and she, as soon as she did it, she knew it and that's tough to think when you're such a competitor, such a fierce athlete and you're just, your instincts kinda kick in and you go for the loose ball, but you could see her impact on this game. And now, since she's been in here for this third quarter, has helped the Lions build a double digit lead. But she'll go to the bench now with those third personals. Kayana Chisholm will check in for her here with 4.45 to go. So she's got three personals. Actually four, they're actually going to issue a technical foul on Terrell here as well. So now she went from two to four, just like that, because she slapped the floor. And now this is why the officials are discussing here at near midcourt. Our officials again this afternoon, Melinda Moore, Lakeisha Pitts, and Mikel Aranzulo. And, and this is going to be a technical foul in addition to the common foul that is called on Terrell. So this is a big opportunity for free throws and possession here for the Mighty Max to cut away at this 10 point deficit. And that first one's good. And not only does that make it four fouls on Terrell,
that makes it a bigger situation now as well. That makes her probably have to sit on the bench a little bit longer, and now the rest of her teammates will have to try to pick up the slack and preserve this advantage here without their leading scorer, who's on the bench now with four personals after picking up a technical foul there after the personal foul. So they just shot the two fouls for the technical foul. Shannon Kelly went two for two at the line there. It's now 45-37 with 4.45 to go. The foul was on the floor. So it's going to be a inbounding situation here for Albright. So Mighty Max basketball down just eight now, 4.42 to go here. Can Immaculata take advantage with Terrell on the bench with four fouls? A big opportunity for the visitors here to climb back into this one. Swinging it back over. Now they'll go for Rook in front of their own bench. Jordan Rook, shot clock now down to single digits. Looks to drive, Boggs on defense, up and in, and good job, patience and court visions by Jordan Rook for two there, and now makes it just a six-point Albright advantage as we're past the midway point of this third quarter. Top shot, O'Hare, that one from downtown, top of the key, no good, long rebound, chased down, and a foul called. Shannon Kelly got bumped as she was fighting for that lose basketball, and when you thought momentum was starting to go Albright's way, those two fouls called on Terrell really could change things here, maybe change the tide and the momentum towards the the mighty Max, excuse me, as they are now in the bonus and will walk the floor to shoot two. And that one's true for Kelly. Kelly is a perfect five for five from the line today. Second rattles home as well. So 45-41 now. Albright led by as many as 12 here in this third quarter. Now leads by just four. Here's Chisholm, baseline up and no good. Gets her own rebound on the other side and that one doesn't go but gets fouled. the second, so it's 46-41 now with 3.42 to go. Skip pass ahead, Immaculata, Chisholm on defense, Boggs reaches in, doesn't get called for the foul, now here for three, that one no good, rebound Boggs and Albright. Lions trying to extend their lead, trying to work quickly here, settle it down now, this is a Wassel running point. Move it, baseline now, Boggs, double team, lose the basketball, whistle silent, good defense there by the mighty Max. A three can cut the deficit tremendously, that one no good, tough angle, second chance, put back is good for Immaculato, Racobaldo gets it to go for two, and timeout Albright with a 3.03 to go. It's been a 6-1 run, make that 8-1 with Racobaldo's put back for two here in the last two minutes, and now it's 46-43, and Albright calls a timeout, and we'll take it with them. 3.03 to go. We'll be back with more Albright women's basketball here in the Albright Sports Network.
the Albright timeout here. It's been an 8-1 run here in the last two minutes for the Mighty Max now, who have climbed back into this game ever since Deja Terrell went out with back-to-back -back fouls. Now she's got four, a personal foul, then called for the technical foul. And ever since then, Immaculata has really turned up the heat here on Albright. Lions out of that one, hooping the harm there. And that's what you want out of the timeout if you're Albright. Maggie O'Hare gets in there, gets the basket to go, and now will go ahead to the line to try to go for the old school three-point play. And the foul is called on Morgan Falcone of Immaculata, her first personal, or excuse me, second personal. Fifth on the team, of course, there in the bonus as well. That one doesn't go, though, so it'll stay a five-point lead for the Lions. The longer Albright can preserve the lead, the better it is, and it makes the decision for Coach Janice Luck and company easier to keep Terrell on the bench. This one from way downtown, a line drive, no good. Long rebound chased down by O'Hare. Now she dribbles, drives up ahead, stop. Dayton has it in the, excuse me, Gaffney has it there in the corners, and that one, now she takes it herself, dribbles back in, and good for two. Abby Gaffney gets it to go for two, the sophomore. Gets two more needed points here. Now, a couple of baskets for the Lions here out of that timeout is exactly what they needed. And that one, turnover. That one will go out of play. Couldn't connect with Am Emily Halloran as that is the 14th turnover for the Mighty Max. Emily Halloran heads to the bench after that one. And a substitution, she, Megan Ricker will come in for her. As I said, she goes to the bench. Under two minutes to go now here in quarter number three. Albright up by seven. Good ball movement. Corner three. That one short. No good. Rebound there. Corralled by Immaculata. Trying to drive, dribble, kick. Corner three. That one good. Immaculata, Megan Ricker right off the bench and into the game. The Cardinal O'Hara grad makes it a four-point ball game. 90 seconds to go. Here in the third quarter, Albright up and turnover now. Lions on the offensive end. That pass goes into their own bench. Back and forth we go. We got a good one here so far with Terrell on that bench. The Albright just a different basketball team today without Deja Terrell. Named to the D3Hoops.com Team of the Week team on Monday night, last night, after her impressive performances in their wins last week. Now that one out of play, pass Aaron into the Mighty Max bench. Both teams with some turnovers here. Albright with 10 on the game, and that's the 15th for Immaculata here in the contest. A minute 14 to go now here in the third. This one, three, way downtown, and that one tickles the twine. Albright's Maggio. Chester Rustin grad gives them a much needed boost there and some breathing room now for the Lions up seven under a minute to go here in the third quarter. And this one, Rook tried to go up and under, no good. Chisholm there for the rebound. Now in transition, thought about another three. Stop, kick up top, mid-range jumper, double dribble called and a travel. Twan Wassel, she thought about taking it and then wanted to dribble up and get close more to a jumper at the elbow, but crossed herself up in the process and a turnover there by the Lions. 30 seconds to go in the third. Shot clock still on, about a five and a half second difference between that and the game clock. There a turnover on the Mighty Max. That's certainly plaguing them here in the third quarter. Albright settling it down now, can hold for the final shot. Shot clock turned off. Gaffney up top, gets it over to Boggs. Boggs settling it down now. She gets a low block back up and that one good. A little give and go between O'Hare and Boggs. And that gets another basket up by nine. Shot will not get fired off by Immaculata as the horn sounds. And a good finish there. A five nothing run in the final minute and 40 for Albright in the third quarter. What turned into a scary close situation now gives them a nine point advantage going into the fourth quarter of play. We'll step aside, we'll come back with the fourth quarter right here on the Albright Sports Network.
are about to get underway. Albright 55, Immaculata 46 here in our non-conference women's basketball contest at the Bowman Center. want to thank you all once again for tuning in here. We're a little bit away from our men's contest coming up. That one nearly lost and then is a turnover for Immaculata on their first possession here of the fourth quarter. Not the way they wanted to start this contest. trying to chase down. Immaculata wins the foot race, though. As Immaculata will have to work quickly. They haven't gone away. Albright hasn't been able to pull away much. Their largest lead was 12. Terrell is still on the bench here to start the fourth quarter. We'll see how long Coach Luck and company keep her there. Another Immaculata turnover now in transition. Boggs. Immaculata crowd wanted a traveling call. Whistles stayed silent, and Boggs will lay it in for two. And now a double-digit advantage built once again here by Albright here in the early going of the fourth quarter. Drive that one up, hoop, and the harm is good. And that's exactly what the Mighty Max needed here in the early going of the fourth quarter. Great job there by Tristy Kearney to say, hey, guys, I'm going to put the team on my back and drive left-hand finish and lay in for two. Foul on Wassel. Her first personal. 57 48, now back to a nine point lead for the Lions. 8 40 to go. If they can keep this one going and this lead going, uh, you would think that Coach Luck would keep Terrell on the bench for as long as she possibly can. First substitution of the fourth quarter. And that will send. Ricker to the bench, and that will bring in Shannon Kelly into the bench, or off the bench, excuse me. And at the line, shooting for Albright is Abby Gaffney. She makes her first. Their next one coming up here. And that one rattles in, so she goes two for two on that trip at the line. Substitution once again for Immaculata. We'll see number 13, Molly Gallagher, a senior guard from Sewell, New Jersey, come into the contest. She checks in for number 14, Kahutka. Excuse me, Kahutka on that one. And this one, they try to work quickly to the Mighty Max, and they do. Rigo gets it to go for two. 59-50 now with 8.20 to go. Albright driving, now stopped. They try to go quickly. Baseline, Boggs has it. She'll try to drive. Splits two defender, lays up with the right end, and good for Gabby Boggs. What a day she's having. Tacks on two more to her game high. 15 now for Albright. Corner three in front of the Mighty Max bench. That misses everything. It goes out of bounds, and they'll say it went off the Lions. Wassel let that one go. Thought maybe she didn't touch it, but it... They'll say it went off her, and it will be a Immaculata regaining the possession. Now here's a three. That one too strong, and that rebound is corralled by Wassel. And now Albright going the other way. Now Boggs drives, runs into some traffic, but gets fouled en route to the hoop as she tried to go up strong on that right side. So she will go to the line to shoot two as she was in the act of shooting. Chisholm will go to the bench. She started the fourth quarter. Ra Rauf will come in for her. And a substitution for Immaculata as well. Racabaldo will check into the contest and send Kearney to the bench. At the line shooting is Boggs. She makes that first one. She's now six for nine from the free throw line. Here is Albright now is up by 12 with 7.39 to go. That one no good. Rebound Immaculata. Still a lot of time left for the Mighty Max to make a run. You got to think, though, if this thing gets maybe within six points, Coach Luck would bring in Terrell to try to bring in some reinforcements and preserve the advantage. 
now drive here. That one no good. Kelly tried to lay it up with the right hand. Couldn't get it to go. Albright rebound. Now he's an opportunity for the Lions to try to pull away a bit. Right now, tie for their largest lead. This will help, and no, it won't. It rolls in and out. Thought it was good, and a kiss off the glass for Wassel, but she couldn't get it to fall. Now this one stuffed. Good block fire by Roth and company. Boggs also there, almost like a block in volleyball with a tandem team there helping out. Now they'll work it around. This one a wing three. That one just off the front of the iron. Long rebound, though, by Albright. They'll get it back now. Turn around, baseline jumper. That one's good. Brady Wassel gets two more to go as that one she does herself after getting the rebound. She's got nine for Albright. That one is good by Rigo on the other end to get it back down to a 12-point deficit for the Mighty Max. 6.20 to go here as we're getting closer to the midway point of the final quarter of play. Settling it down here in the half court. Maybe trying to change the game plan and use as much clock as possible. Now low block, trying to get to Wassel. First one, no good. Second one, no good. Third time, not the charm either. But Boggs comes up, gets the rebound. The fourth time doesn't go. It spins away, and Immaculata will say, this is enough, and get the rebound and go the other way with it. That one stolen away, good defense. And now they'll try to get it up ahead to O'Hare. She'll lay it in for two. She does the work on the defensive end, gets the ball away, and then gets rewarded on the other end for two. And now timeout called here on the floor with 66-52 on the scoreboard. That's a 14-point lead for the Lions, their largest lead of the contest with 5.32 to go. And that's a timeout by the Mighty Max. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take it with them as they talk it over here and try to see if they can pull off a comeback. We'll step aside, and we'll come back with the finish here of our women's contest on the Albright Sports Network.
Aguilada with the clock going under four minutes here in the game. The has to start to work quickly if they want to get back into this contest. That one nearly stolen away by Boggs, tipped it to the back court. Now shot clock dwindling, corner three, that one no good, long rebound, chase down and one by Immaculata, up and that one no good. And the second chance they get it, can they go again, that one no good. Kelly gets her own rebound, that one blocked, but Immaculata gets it back. He has it stolen away momentarily, loose ball, maybe a travel, nothing called. They get up ahead of Ralph and then she gets fouled on the floor. No shot, a wild sequence there with Immaculata having several good looks at the back. None of them falling. And then Immaculata wanting a, either a travel or a loose ball foul in front of their own bench there. They didn't get either of it. And then Albright tried to go fast break and then got fouled under their own basket. 3.24 to go. Shannon Kelly with the foul, her first. Rav for three, that one no good. And nearly chased down her own rebound. Instead, Immaculata going the other way with a jump, stop, shot, kiss off the glass. That one's good for two. Teresa Kearney, the leading scorer coming into this game. That's her, gives her 13. Relatively quiet day for her, as I said, averages just under 18. And that one, a hard foul underneath the basket for Immaculata. Gave her 13. Albright has been scoreless in the last two minutes and 30 seconds. So the foul is going to be on Albright's Amina Rauf, I believe. I'm assuming you're going to be on Falcone, number 20 for Immaculata, her third personal. timeout on the floor. We'll step aside here at the Bowman Center. 3.01 to go. Albright 66. Immaculata 56. We'll be right back after this. center all is well there for what could have been a lot worse of an injury there and under that basket Falcone got up and got under her own power and walked off and is being tended to by the medical staff of Immaculata hopefully she's okay Rahutka is in for Falcone and Immaculata at the line shooting to is O'Hare she made the first here's the second that one true as well so a 301 to go it's 68 56 in favor of Albright and they've done a good job of weathering the storm without Terrell here and she's been limited with those four personals and the rest of the Lions have been able to good job to pick up the slack and get it done and now they have a double digit lead Gets it across midcourt, 2.40 to go. Mac Albright just trying to use some clock here with some handoffs at the top of the key. Now low block, missed free throw by O'Hare, chases her own rebound now, but it didn't hit the rim, so shot clock dwindling, three, that one no good, a rebound corralled by Immaculata. A little over two minutes to go now. Albright still up by double digits. Now this one blocked by Boggs. She's done it all this afternoon. And now a jump ball on the baseline. A 
pair of substitutions here, one on either team. As both players get up a little bit slowly, but the good looks like everyone is okay there. Jordan Rook comes in for Immaculata, and Haley Dayton checks into the contest for the Lions. Two oh five to go. It'll be Albright basketball inbounding here under the rim. Gets it up court quickly and throws it all the way into the half court set. Dayton, who just checked in, running point now for the Lions. Terrell has it at the top, now gets a low block. O'Hare up and gets fouled as she tried to go up with the left hand. Under two minutes to go now here in the contest. Kelly, Shannon Kelly, her second here in the contest. And O'Hare misses the first. O'Hare with her second coming up here. And that one is good. Now a 13 point advantage for the Lions here who are about to win their seventh straight contest to start the 2019-20 campaign. This one top of the key, three, Mighty Max, that one no good, Terrell corrals the rebound. And 90 seconds to go. Now Dayton has it on the far side. O'Hare was open for a second on the lower block, couldn't get it to her though. 75 seconds to go. Shot clock under eight. Boggs drives, left hand. That's been a patented move all day. Gabby Boggs for two. And a whistle. And we're going to have a foul. And a foul is going to be on Immaculata. I believe Teresa Kearney off the ball. I think after the basket was in. So this will be Terrell shooting two for the Lions. Terrell with 11 points so far. Again, hasn't played much come, come, came, coming into today. She's been averaging 20 points per game. 67 seconds left in this one. And that one no good. Made. Missed that one. That one no good. Under a minute to go now. Terrell going the other way. And they'll settle it down here. See if Immaculata will try to foul here. That one is good for three. Deja Terrell with the corner three. And that one out of play. It'll be off of the Lion, there's going to be off of the Mighty Max, so another turnover there, and it'll be Albright to inbound the basketball. Now 14 points for Terrell in this game. 38.1 seconds to go. Shot clock still on here as the Lions battled in this one, but will pick up the victory here a little bit harder than maybe they expected with Terrell saddled with foul trouble for most of the contest. They still get it done. time. Shot clock. They'll have to get a shot off here before it dwindles. There's a difference between a shot and a game clock of about six seconds. Terrell steps back three. That one is good. Deja Terrell feeling it from downtown. Give her now 17. And she is a perfect three for three from beyond the arc this afternoon. And a whistle there. Foul. Shot clock turned off with five seconds 
to go. 5.4 to be specific as that tray gives Albright their largest advantage of the afternoon, 21 points. Maggie O'Hare, her third personal. Immaculata inbounds the basketball underneath their own bench. And shot is up by Kelly, and it rattles home for two as the buzzer sounds. And that'll do it as the Albright Lions women's basketball team wins 77 of 58 this afternoon over the Immaculata Mighty Max. The Lions improve to 7 0 overall. And with the setback, that snaps Immaculata's four-game win streak that they came to Berks County with. And the Mighty Max dropped to four and three overall with the non-conference setback today. Deja